Damian Lillard is one of the most unique case studies of unconventional high-level athleticism. The 6'2", 195-pound point guard has evolved his game quite a bit from being the 214th ranked player from the high school class of 2007. I believe it's due to his unique athleticism and attributes that have allowed him to thrive in the NBA over these years. So in today's Paradigm Shift Basketball Geometry Series, we are going to be discussing the great Damian Lillard. Dame's signature move is probably the pull-up three from just about anywhere. He has unlimited range, but what's most impressive about this skill is how effortlessly he gets off these shots. There are two primary athletic components that explain this. The first is his elite level balance. And I'm not just talking about balance in the traditional sense, like physical equilibrium, which is clearly a big part of his game, as his ability to stop on a dime allows him to make his punch drags more effective. But I'm also talking about being anatomically balanced, that's such a rare thing, especially in basketball. We see a lot of players with lopsided right sides of their bodies, and there's a lot of science to back up why that's the case. Just look at Markel Fultz. Players like Damian Lillard, James Harden, Steph Curry, they seem to be completely balanced. In other words, whatever muscle they're using in a given situation, they're opposing muscles just as developed. This gives them an extra level of fluidity and brings me to this next athletic component, rhythm. It's due to Damian Lillard's innate elite rhythm that gives him effortless, unlimited range. His muscles are in perfect equilibrium, and that's how he's able to effortlessly generate deep shots without having to muscle it. To understand this better, think of somebody who lacks equilibrium. For example, if you're lacking in your core, you're not gonna be able to transfer energy efficiently up the kinetic chain. The energy is gonna leak once it reaches your core. You're not gonna be able to use that natural synergy between your body parts as a machine. This is a lesson I learned from the great Doc Shepler. He's probably the best shooting coach in the world, and his approach to shooting is really unique. Instead of starting with form, he teaches rhythm first. But that transfer of energy rhythmically is so important. And in Damian Lillard, you can see how consistent and mechanical it is. And the opposite of this is somebody like Markel Fultz, somebody with thoracic outlet syndrome, a muscle imbalance. This is why he's gonna shoot more like a spring-loaded catapult in some areas, because if you have really explosive prime movers, but weak stabilizers and opposing muscles, it'll be like what Paul Fabert says, shooting a cannon out of a canoe. Another example of his phenomenal athleticism is his Euro step. There's nothing physically special about this Euro step. It's not particularly fast. It does not utilize that many sharp directional changes. However, it's incredibly effective. In his Euro step, he's using the concept of rotational movement. Again, another concept I learned from studying favorites in Hamlin and something we covered in our Pascal Siakam video. The primary movement in basketball is rotational. And the geometry of this is beautiful for setting up optimal angles to finish. As Lillard rotates with this Euro step, his side step is a point of tangency that becomes his new finishing angle. He's now oriented himself to the backboard, and he can use additional rotational movement to not aim the ball, but set it up to fall in the hole, utilizing the side spin of the ball, or even the Magnus effect. In this clip, he receives a flat back drag screen. There's so many advantages in this play, it's not even funny. First of all, the flat back screen is designed to give the ball handler the freedom to read his defender and utilize the screen from whichever side he chooses. The effect of this is amplified by the fact that his defender understands that Damian Lillard has 360 degrees of options he can use. He has to stay honest because Lillard can take literally any angle he wants, and if he goes under the screen, Lillard can simply pull up. You can see the frustration in his body language. The fact that this is a transition drag screen means that even an elite defense like the Toronto Raptors are not set yet. It's going to take at least three coordinated defenders to guard both Lillard and the roller after the first defender has been screened out of the play. When you're transitioning, you're not going to be in an ideal position. Damian Lillard is one of the few point guards you're going to have to hedge the second a screen is set past half court. But Serge Ibaka playing the odds shows to the three-point line, and this is an automatic rhythm shot for Lillard. The Trailblazers love to use motion strong for Damian Lillard. This is a common NBA play that you may have seen the Spurs use or the Kenny Atkins Nets but it's almost lights out for Lillard as he has to be guarded at every point of this play. And that just depends on how his defender opts to guard him through these two off-ball screens. He can reject and flare, utilize both screens and receive, or shoot in between the screens. And that puts a ton of pressure on the defense and often leads to bizarrely open layups for Dame or uncontested dunks from the rolling Hassan Whiteside. And this is due to another concept that Hanlon and Shepler talk about. Shooting is a lot like your golf game. In golf, you have different clubs for different situations. And in basketball, it's no different. It's a common myth that you have to have the same shot and only adjust the variable of leg involvement the deeper you get. Lillard can hop into his shot, step back, or even lean. He has such a mastery of the rhythm in his body, he can generate it at will in any situation. 
And because of this, Lillard may have the best golf bag of different shots in the NBA, along with Curry and Harden. But anyways guys, thanks for watching. Shout out to Dennis M for requesting this video. If you have any other requests, just let us know in the comment section. Please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you guys on the next one.